Good afternoon. Hello, it's uh, Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the, tra the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 17th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can uh, certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store, and be sure to download at the www.tradesignal.com website as well. Be sure to visit CFDs.com too, certainly download the uh, app there, and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus. Okay, in terms of uh, European markets, let's see exactly where we stand. Uh, stats at the moment. Uh, currently, you have um, the uh, European session. You have the FTSE down, DAX down, CAC down. So certainly under pressure, uh, and that's mainly due to the fact that U.S. markets certainly were weaker overnight. Okay, certainly concerns with regards to Mr. Bannon potentially being subpoenaed uh, under house arrest, etc. Uh, and obviously the Mueller probe, obviously going into the Russian collusion, certainly uh, being in the background as well. In terms of the US dollar index, that certainly is into double bottom and therefore it's hurting commodities. You've got oil prices down, copper down, which in turn has sent US equities down as well. Concerns with regards to a potential trade war with China as well. Talk of a trade war there. So again, that certainly is a weighing on the uh, indexes too. Okay, so the Dow hit a pivot high of 26.080 before it uh, uh, finally reversed. So uh, certainly expecting that to be a uh, potential top and therefore looking for a, re a reversal imminently. In terms of the Russell 2000, that's certainly hit a top. Dow Tran Transport certainly hit a potential uh, bearish engulfing candle as well. So again, uh, expecting everything certainly to uh, force the European equities down. In terms of fundamentals this morning, the main data has been with regards to the CPI in, um, in Europe. I'll just quickly run through the, the economic data with you. CPI data basically came in more or less slightly better than expected on the core for Euro Eurozone. Okay, so again... Uh, indicating uh, obviously uh, tapering there. Uh, in terms of the uh, member speech, uh, MPC member Saunders certainly was hawkish and therefore risk negative. Uh, we have had uh, concerns obviously with regards to Caridian InterServe as well, certainly exacerbating there. Also, we've had concerns with regards to Burberry as well, certainly hurting the FTSE 100. So, from that perspective, US equity markets potentially putting in bearish engulfing candles, Asian markets certainly subdued. And therefore, European markets certainly expected to move lower. Now, the Euro USD did hit a pivot high above 1.23 overnight. Again, that certainly is serving as to be bearish going forward. Let's look at the uh, German DAX at present. Then, so quickly go through the German DAX daily chart. You're just trading sideways. Okay, uh, you have an unfilled gap below that needs to be closed at 912970. You've got stronger Euro. Certainly, we obviously you're weighing on the uh, index itself. Concerns with regards to the coalition as well. Whether there'll be an agreement there, again, that certainly is serving to be bearish too. Now, the 60-minute uh, chart, again, you're just trading sideways at the moment. Certainly, you know, not, neither here nor there at the moment on the French, on the DAX. You have closed the gap at uh, 13,250, but then we have been rejected ever since. Again, you are seeing support around 13,200, and uh, we'll see exactly how this index plays out. If you do flush lower, then you are looking to test that 13,170 zone until we eventually close that gap below, which is at 12,970. So keep an eye on the German DAX there. In terms of the uh, French CAC, again, we have a potential H&S formation, so watch out for this pattern here, folks. I'm, I'm keeping an eye, on it, an eye on it, okay, and therefore, hence, my price is bearish at the moment. Daily chart, obviously, you can see is double top, and therefore, looking for bearish price action. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, you're making lower lows, lower highs. You've got Burberry concerns, you've got Interserve, you have Carillion concerns, you've got political uncertainty, etc., etc. I mean, uh, you still have the uh, GBP USD uh, nearing the 1.38 zone. Certainly isn't bearish at all. So even with the uh, the weaker inflation number yesterday, Mr. Saunders certainly has negated that in terms of talking of higher interest rates going forward. So the pivot low yesterday was 7725. Let's see if we can retest that now. That and potentially even break it uh, even lower. You have uh, the next potential support is seen at around the 7715. And then ultimately around the 7700 level on the FTSE 100. So that's basically what we're expecting there. In terms of the... Um, the actual euro stocks let's look at the euro stocks last but not least before we wrap up here euro stocks certainly close the gap at uh, 33620 we did hit a pivot low yesterday on the back of that surge in the euro around 3607 potentially looking to retest that support level again or even potentially lower back down to 3600 so watch out for euro stocks going forward uh, again the uh, 60 minute chart potential hns formation and the daily chart Yesterday's talk of potential, obviously, extension of bond buys uh, certainly did trigger a, a short squeeze. We did hit a potential um, a topping tail. Now we're looking at 3640. Now we're looking to potential reverse and close that gap below at 3510. So, again, interesting times, interesting times. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. 
and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.